Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another Fred Drives video. We're going to feature Hawthorne, New Jersey. I've already done a video. I've, I've already, I have already done. Yeah, that's right. I want to make sure I'm grammatically correct because sometimes in the morning my brain doesn't work. I just want to uh, let you know I did do a Hawthorne video prior showing Gaffo Road, I believe it is. This one is a little bit more involved. I'm going to show you a few roads a few extra locations here in Hawthorne New Jersey for those of you that are new my name is Freddie Cardona and I do have a Fred drives playlist on my channel where I feature the highways and byways of different streets and also a lot of Patterson content so make sure that you check out the videos and if you like what you see consider subscribing so we are going to make a left on Lafayette Avenue up ahead once we get there. But here we go. Hawthorne, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen. We are right now on Gaffo Road. As we go past the Enterprise Rent-A-Car. And this is going to turn in, well, we're going to take, let's see, what are we going to take? We're going to take Wagaro Road. Walk raw. I always I can't pronounce that. I have such a tough time pronouncing that. Walk raw. Oh no, I gotta be in this lane. Sorry, folks. Hope I didn't scare anybody. We got a 7 Eleven there on the left on the corner of Mohawk Avenue. Nope, I have to be over here. Sorry, folks. Continuing on Wagaraw. I think I got it now, Wagaraw. If you're from Hawthorne, or if you still live in Hawthorne as we go past Shopmeyer Brothers, please let me know in the comments below. Share your memories of Hawthorne, of living here. You've got the Hawthorne Center there on the left. Let me show that to you folks. You can see what this area looks like now. Let me just bring you over on this side and then we'll show you the stores here. We've got Family Dollar, Kid City, right there, Family Dollar, Kid City, Foot Doctor, Jersey Boys, pizza rainbow like a, a clothing store value village you've got gem bro mandy sonic suds laundromat mad rag vernis vernisage restaurant and dollar tree oh vernisage restaurant let's check that out let's see what that is see this is why you have to subscribe to me you get to see all these different locations that you probably would not see otherwise what type of restaurant is that what type of cuisine or as the christmas story dad would say cuisine i can't tell vernisage vernisage restaurant if anyone knows let me know in the comments below let me give you a good look at it though so if anybody didn't get the cuisine reference for those of you fans of the Christmas story, when the Christmas story dad opened up the award, the box said Fright Fragile. And he said, oh, Fragile, it must be Italian. So cuisine is cuisine. -y. So yeah, Vernissage restaurant. I guess I can Google it later to find out what that is. But that's no fun. I'd rather the Fred Scribers get involved and let me know what that is. All right, let's get back on Wagaro Road. I'm proud of myself. I'm saying that correctly, I hope. Without sounding like Scooby-Doo. Ruff Road. Road. Kohler Distributing, Distri Distributing Company. 150 Wagaro Road. All right. Continuing on. Keep in mind, guys, that I am not an official tour guide or professional tour guide. You've 
got buildings being constructed or already constructed on the right hand side. I'm just going to slow down a little bit here. I want to see. I'm going to make this left on Lafayette Avenue. But we're not going to we're not going to go past the red light. Got a delta on the left, 329 regular cash, 337 regular credit. And the building to my right is called Hedges at Hawthorne, 204 Wagaraw Road. All right, this is Lafayette Avenue. Also known as County Road 665, Passaic County Road. This piece right here, this segment right here, let's see what buses go through here. For those of you that have been following me for a long time know that I like showing the bus lines, the bus routes. And this one here, you can pick up the 722. And this says it goes to Paramus. Crossing Washington Street. This segment right here is primarily residential. But there is what I consider to be a downtown area. I could be wrong. You guys let me know. I'm not from Hawthorne. Got an orthodontist there on the left. Crossing Franklin Avenue. Crossing Maitland. See, this is why you have to follow, follow my channel. Subscribe to my channel. If you live on any one of these streets, like Tuxedo Avenue, you probably never thought that your street would be featured. Well, your, the name of your street would be featured on YouTube. Llewellyn Avenue there, crossing Llewellyn. Justin's Restaurante. Restaurant. South Avenue is the street that we're crossing right now. There's parking to the right here for Justin's. Got a machine there telling me to slow down around town. St. Clement's Episcopal Church. When I do these drives, I like to drive slow, crossing Cedar Ave. You've got the Hawthorne Theater parking there on the right. Lafayette Park Apartments. Malcolm's Pharmacy. Yep. Got another theater here on the left. Well, this is the Hawthorne Theater on the left. Crossing Diamond Bridge. This is... I actually drove on this street yesterday when I needed to go to North Hilden. And I enjoyed the drive so much that I fixed the camera. I wanted to feature it on my channel. Crossing Jefferson Place. I really enjoyed Lafayette Avenue specifically. And I I really felt like I wanted to feature. Now, Warren Avenue, we're crossing. Now, I'm seeing on my map here that there's a Puzo's here on this road. Ladies Boutique on the left. McKinley Avenue. So, right here, there's another Puzo's, I think. Unless my navigator is trolling me. No, I don't see it. I didn't see it. We've got bogeys hoagies on the right. If you're from Hawthorne, let me know. We've got Cigar, cigar Lounge as we cross Warburton. Carlos's hand-rolled bagel shop on the left. There's just so much stuff to see at the municipal building, I think, on the right. I look like I'm in the center court watching a tennis match with my head going back and forth. We got Villa Rosa pizza there on the left and Launder Quick laundromat. I gotta slow down, I got cars behind me. Yeah, so I look like I'm watching a tennis match. My head's going back and forth, trying to call out all the different things that are that, that are here on Lafayette. Now this looked like this used to be a Chevrolet dealer maybe on the right I see signs and Chevrolet car dealer I don't know the bear cave on the right crossing Vreeland Avenue not the Patterson Vreeland Avenue which incidentally I did do a video featuring the entire street in Patterson Vreeland Avenue Browning and Forche funeral home Got Olson's Pharmacy, Hawthorne School of Dance, 
that Olsen Pharmacy is not related to the Olsen Mercantile in, in, Cedar, in what is it, Walnut Grove. Continuing, we're crossing Ray Avenue, or is it Rhea, Rhea Avenue? Let me know, guys, how that's pronounced. It's R-E-A. We are going to double back and get on that street as we go past Hawthorne Fire Company number one. We just crossed Utter Avenue. Stewart's Deli there on the left. Sprinkles Ice Cream. Blue Ribbon Realty. So much, so much stuff here. Mr. Cupcakes. Genevieve Avenue crossing that street. We got a pizzeria called Tasty Pizzeria. I tell you what, if you're not from New Jersey, as we cross Van Winkle, you're going to know that you are not going to be hungry in New Jersey. Gaffle Hill Road on the, we just crossed Gaffle Hill Road, Roosevelt Avenue. We're going to take this to the, what do they call that, the line, the border? We're gonna take this to the border. City limits, that's the word I was looking for. Run a corner of Gaffa Road currently. Continuing on. Paul's Motors, Union Street. Crossing Union Street. Crossing Summer Street. Let's stop here for a minute. We have a big truck behind me that was not a big truck, but a pickup truck that was to go. Oh no, he turned. Never mind. Continue on. You got folks walking their dogs here on Laurel Street. As we're approaching the city limits, we're going under Route 208, crossing Kenwood Road. Yeah, so I hope you consider subscribing. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers on the channel. We got a, we have a lot lot of content coming out this year as we cross Bryan Avenue, B R A E N Avenue, and Missanelli Court on the left. Don't know if I pronounced both of those correctly. If I did, and I really am sorry. Crossing Rain Ravine Drive and Lagner Court. Crossing Morningstar Road and crossing Deborah Court. Just a residential, peaceful, beautiful street as we cross John Street. And we've just passed the city limit, so we are not in Hawthorne anymore. Something tells me I'm not in Hawthorne anymore, Toto. All right, we're going to safely turn around. Double back, and then we'll, we'll, I'll bring you back with me when I get to Rhea Avenue, or Ray Avenue. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I was pronouncing that wrong this entire time. All right, I'll see you on Rhea Avenue. All right, so we're here on the corner of Wellfleet Lane and Sickomac Avenue. And before I show you Rhea, Rhea Avenue, I wanted to show you Gaffle Hill Road here in Hawthorne, New Jersey. This borders Wyckoff, just so you know, if you did, if you don't, or if you didn't. But Gaffle Hill Road is an actual, it's another beautiful drive here in Hawthorne. This area is residential as we cross Clara Avenue. I really hope you guys are enjoying these drives. I really appreciate you joining me crossing Sycamac Road. And for obvious reasons, I can never show you as we cross Cider Mill Road and New York Avenue. I can't, I couldn't ever show you the entire city 
or all of the streets in any city that I feature. What I try to do is stay on the main roads of any particular city that I am in and maybe show you a few extra things like that um, that strip mall that I showed you earlier in the video. If I see something of interest, I usually will stop, pull over as we cross Orchard Place. Got a car behind me that thinks this is Route 80. So we'll let them go first. Go on, good sir. Speed away. Speed to your heart's content. This is a, tw I'm doing 25 right now, which is what the speed limit is on this road. He must have been doing around 35 or 40. Rock Ledge Road is this road we just crossed. And Beverly Road. And the thing is, I usually mind my own business, right? Who am I to tell someone else how to drive? The problem is, when someone is driving carelessly, it could affect me as we cross Cheryl Hills Drive. Because when, when the person drives carelessly, there's a better chance at getting into an accident. So, yeah, I mind my own business, but I also have the right to get upset. Sunrise Drive, especially when they're messing with ooh, Thomas Jefferson Elementary School on the left. Especially when they're, when they're messing with my life by being careless around me in their cars. But I generally mind my own business. I don't tell people what to do. They can drive the way they feel they want to drive. But there are consequences to careless driving and speeding. Steel and metal and glass hurts when you get into an accident at a high speed. That was a public service announcement as we cross Nixon Court here on Gaffo Hill Road. Okay, we're going to get back on Gaffo Road. And then I will meet you on Rhea Avenue. And I sure do hope I am pronouncing that right. That's how I'm going to pronounce it for the duration of the video. If it's wrong, I apologize. All right, we are approaching Rhea Avenue. And in this gas station, Exxon regular cash is $349. Regular credit is $357. Diesel cash is $375. And diesel credit is $375. There is a there there is no uh, no turn on red, so I can do that legally. Raya Avenue. Now there's another section of Raya Avenue to the left, but we're going to show you this one. Crossing Pasadena Place. the residential street here in Hawthorne yeah I really hope you guys if you haven't subscribed I really hope you consider subscribing and if not that's okay but if you can at least like the video and maybe comment down below North watch and drive it helps the YouTube algorithm so that the video can be pushed out to more folks and more folks can live vicariously through me if they don't live in northern New Jersey. You get to travel to the wonderful Garden State if you subscribe to my channel. And you can see a bunch of New Jersey stuff. Many people have referred to us as the armpit of America. As we cross Tanya Terrace. And see, you can follow me and check out the armpit. Favorite guy. That's going to be my motto. Subscribe to my channel and visit the armpit vicariously. Gotta have a sense of humor, folks. Can't get offended at every little thing. We are the armpit. That's what we're called. Old Archer Drive. Us New Jerseyans know what we have in this wonderful state. We don't mind other people throwing shade at us. It's fine. And now we're in North Hilden. So that concludes this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, click like and watch it again. Let's go. Get the views up, right? 
<laughs> all right guys listen thanks again i really appreciate it for my subscribers my fred subscribers my atf squad i thank you i thank you i thank you you know who you are you comment on every single video i read these comments i love reading the comments and we are gonna end it let's end it at a nice place let's see let's see what's here all right we're gonna end it on county road 664 all right guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you on the next video